I have, for the past four or five years, um, been doing the groundwork to put together what's called a therapeutic use exemption, uh, specifically for medical cannabis. Um, I am a professional athlete who um, trains. Um, I'm also a medical patient who has uh, my own needs um, as a patient, uh, and those obviously uh, converge. Um, Specifically, uh, medical cannabis works best for me in regards to uh, uh, just the the aspect of um, uh, treatment and also as prescribed by my doctor. Again, this is not just me uh, choosing that cannabis is best for me. It's uh, uh, the fact that with consultation with my doctor, my family doctor, uh, we're not talking about, um, you know, any of those uh, what they're called uh, doctors uh, in regards to where you, you know, uh, you know, we've all been to California and we've seen those, uh, what's it called doctors or guys in green shirts that, uh, what do you call it? We'll give you a, a prescription. No, this is my family doctor, um, who has been painstakingly, uh, working with me as well as, um, a well-respected, um, a well-respected, uh, uh, poly clinic. Um, and the doctor, Dr. Uh, Kevin Rod has also been helping me in regards to that as well um, on that aspect. And he's a, a well-renowned uh, Canadian and U.S. Uh, pain specialist. Um, so talking about pain, I guess I can kind of dive into what my specific condition is. I have something called bilateral neuropathic pain, uh, which essentially means bilateral means both sides um, and it, uh, neuropathic pain in my upper extremities. So I essentially have nerve damage in my elbows and my wrists. Um, partly because of a previous uh, surgery and previous wear and tear of just, uh, you know, a previous life of being a semi-pro skateboarder, um, a uh, what's it called, that aspect, surgery. And then obviously it was, uh, you know, aggravated even more so with what I do as a professional fighter. Not just the fight, it's the, the build up to and it's now a decade into mixed martial arts. So um, it was about over the last four or five years, I realized that medical cannabis was by far, um, again, with the consultation of my doctor, was by far the uh, better choice. Um, and it was around that time that the UFC, uh, which I was uh, a fighter for at the time, um, they partnered with the United States Anti-Doping Agency, um, which cannabis, uh, during their protocols, cannabis is considered what's called a um, prohibited substance. So it means it's not allowed and um, penalty of uh, suspension, overturning your fight, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. But what they do have is called a therapeutic use exemption. And that's what I've been applying for. I applied many times in uh, USADA. Unfortunately, I did not get the uh, pass through them. And part of that is because USADA is a, uni a United States company uh, uh, United States, uh, what's it called, anti-doping agency, which gets its um, funding from the U.S. government. The U.S. government looks at cannabis as a Schedule One drug with no medical properties, which means they don't look at it as medicine. Now, fast track to where I find myself now as a free agent, there is avenues uh, to take that same fight I've been doing for medical quality in my case and hopefully broader for other athletes, but to take it through the commission route. And that's exactly what I did. I applied through the um, British Columbia, uh, what's called Athletic Commission. And with, again, that same groundwork that I've been building up for four or five years in regards to my medical documents, I satisfied their criteria for the approval of a therapeutic use exemption. And um, with that, um, my fundamental right as a Canadian the Medicaid as prescribed by my doctor was uh, approved. And with that, I get to compete at a level playing field, meaning that I can use the medicine that helps treat my condition, just like uh, other athletes um, can use whatever medicine they want that isn't cannabis, right? Prescription drugs, opioids, and anything in between um, that to help manage their pain because that's what I'm doing, pain management. Um, so in the end of the day, even without even talking about cannabis specifically, what I've been fighting for is medical equality. My medicine just happens to be cannabis. Uh, I actually wrote a, um, a uh, Medium article, 
which I suggest everyone uh, go check out. It's on uh, my Twitter, my Instagram, at Elias Theodoro. Um, I basically talk about my story, and uh, the title of it is Fighting for Change and the Parallels Between Legalizing MMA and Regulating Cannabis, Medical Cannabis to be specific. So I kind of go through the history of what it took for the UFC uh, and, you know, in conjunction uh, MMA to become a legal and recognized sport. It was through the athletic commissions. And that's exactly what I've done with medical cannabis. Um, and doing so, I'm the first professional athlete. Um, this sets precedent. Other athletes now in BC can do that. Other athletes from potentially around the world who compete in BC can also do that. And now, because of that same cohesion that uh, the athletic commissions have in North America, um, if I was to, let's say, get suspended in New York, per se, for a steroid, right? Like an actual steroid. And I wanted, and they suspended me for a year. And I wanted now to compete in California. Well, they probably wouldn't license me in California because they honor the rulings of other jurisdictions. So that same precedent, that same concept is done so with my medicine and my TUE. I can say now that BC recognizes my, uh, my, my place. You recognize BC. So here are the guidelines that I'm in, and would you use it? It would be, and uh, again, can't go into the details yet, but uh, I, I, I'm quite uh, certain there are certain uh, commissions that uh, have medical cannabis in their area and in their jurisdiction that would be open to the idea. Um, and that's what I guess, again, uh, I'll have to leave it at because, you know, there's a lot of hard work that always goes into it, just like it was for the first four years. But luckily now, uh, with this uh, piece of paper that validates my medical condition and what works best for me in regards to treating it, medical cannabis, I can now use that to go to different jurisdictions uh, and compete at a level playing field um, against some of the best in the world. Uh, it's not set. Um, I'm still working on uh, the, uh, the details on that with my management. But uh, considering it's 2020, all April is uh, 420. Um, definitely looking towards a 420, uh, the month of it in general, uh, fight, um, not set. Um, but, uh, again, I'm always training. I'm always getting ready. Um, one interesting fact to kind of talk about is the fact that, um, I actually fought, uh, as recent as December against a former, uh, UFC fighter, uh, Hernani, uh, Perpetua, um, and I was able to get the uh, TKO finish. Um, it was my first finish in roughly five years. And I'm excited to keep on with that momentum. And coincidentally, um, that TKO finish was the first one that has been in place uh, since, uh, since uh, um, my UFC stint. And more importantly, since USADA came. Because part of, I guess, if people look at my previous... Uh, career in regards to kind of the first, you know, 10, 12 fights, I, I fought a very specific style, more of a, a, a grinder, more of a, you know, ground and pound, lift you up and through you. Um, when USADA came, uh, not having my medicine, I was forced to adapt. And that's why I, I kind of changed into more of a kickboxer, taekwondo style to kind of uh, avoid using my hands because of the neuropathic pain that I was constantly feeling, especially leading up to um, up to uh, what's called fight camp. Um, and, you know, it worked many times, but sometimes it didn't. And, and obviously in my Derek Brunson fight, it didn't work. And, it, you know, it, it's one of those uh, interesting styles uh, that, you know, when it works, it works. When it doesn't, uh, you know, everyone's left kind of scratching their heads. So, uh, you know, I very much, I went back to the drawing board since uh, my release from the UFC and reinvented uh, myself both as a cannabis athlete but also as an MMA, MMA fighter and, uh, you know, have a recent TKO win. And I'm looking when I do fight, although, as mentioned, not set, um, to go back on that same uh, mentality and that same win streak to get another TKO.